I'm back. It's New Year's Eve. Uh, by the time y'all see this, it'll already be 24. Man, time flies. It's been a rough year for us. Um, fortunate to even be able to work on this at all. Uh, yeah. House fire took us out most of the year. Um, but nevertheless, back on it. Today, I need to knock out. We have all our roof bracing and gussets up. They need to be welded out all the way. And then I need to do this bar, this kicker bar here. So technically every bar would be done with the funny car and stuff. So that's what we're gonna work towards. Knocking out this bar. I will do a time lapse of this because it's in a spot where I can show you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the camera on and uh, get to fitting. All right, there she is. Now I'd say the funny car portion's about done. All right, I just woke up. It was New Year's last night. Um, we stayed up late, obviously. Get back to work on this. I think today I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side door bars. I was leaving them out to work in the truck, but um, I think I'm just going to do them, get them knocked out. Uh, it's not fun working around any of that stuff, but what's going to happen is to finish getting out some of the welds and stuff. We're going to start flipping the chassis on the table. So it ain't going to be a big deal. So I think that's what we're going to work on. Like I said, we did the little, um, I don't know, kidney bar, something, uh, the bar that goes from there down to there to tie in that, that outside bar of the funny car deal. Um, I also need to make two side mount tabs for the seat. I could do that as well. Um, I need to drill out the mid plate halo holes that the mid plate bolts to and put in a sleeve and weld that out. Cause if I don't do a sleeve and you tighten those bolts on the mid plate, it's just gonna sandwich the pipe. So I need to weld in a sleeve there. Um, it's four sleeves total, uh, two on the bottom and two on the top and then on the top I have two billet uh, bunks from Reese Brothers so those are fine um, there's really a bunch of stuff to do I need to just kind of pick a point and roll with it now that the roof stuff is is all in there um, we continue to move on to other stuff but um, other than the door bars here and I also need to do the gussets here okay you have to have a gusset from on the top uh, top side of the door bars and on right here so I need to do those too um, you have to have those and it's dependent if you have a one-piece pillar bar or not but yeah so I could I could do that too we might knock that out too just progress y'all like I said one bar a day one thing a day pick up pick a point and let's roll with it so that's what I'm gonna do maybe I'll do those gussets first maybe I'll do these door bars and then the gussets so they're all it's easy to do the same same cut, so I don't know. I'm going to think about it. We'll figure it out, and you'll see on the time lapse what I choose to start with first. So I uh, hope everybody had a good new year. Everybody got home safe. Uh, let's make 24. Let's make 24 a good one, so let's see what happens.
All right, so we got these little, got these set in here. You can weld them out and uh, grind them down, tiger disc them down. But those sleeves are in there, so now when you tighten the bolt, it won't pinch this pipe. It'll be strong and sleeved. Uh, that is half inch chrome molly, so. They're in there. I'm gonna see about welding them out, getting them happy. Down, so your 3 8 bolt by 16 can slide right through. Let me grab a, so I have a bolt bin here. Dude, this one's bent here. I was using this for my stand, obviously. No, I got that well, but. See? Oh gosh. Obviously it's not straight, so it's not gonna go all the way through, but you get the idea. Her sleeve, that's done. Another thing off the list. Um, I really need to take these control arms and spindles off and start cleaning this up. Um, I do need to I have the TRZ brackets that weld right there and let you use an eyelet top mount shock instead of the stud mount. So I need to do that, and we're going to go over that because I haven't really seen videos on how to do that anyway. Never done it before, but I'll show you how I do it. Again, may not be the best way. It's just the way I do it, so... Let's uh, probably get these off and see what happens.